I am Adil Kumar sharing with you a very important question from test point of view. We are reviewing vectors and here is a test question from previous IB test paper. The question is for A 3 minus 1 1 and B 0 2 minus 1 find the coordinates of P which divides B A in the ratio 2 is to 5. You can pause the video answer the question and then look into my suggestions. Let me sketch, describe the scenario first, right? So let's say that's the line. We're just, just sketching at random. And we want to divide line BA. So let me consider this point to be B and this point to be A. We need to divide it in the ratio of 2 is to 5. And some point P, let us say point P is right there, which divides BA in the ratio of 2 is to 5. That is to say that is how it is being divided, right? So the line segment BA is divided into 7 portions. BP is 2 out of those 7 and PA is 5 out of those. Okay. Now we need to find the location of point P, the coordinates of point P. That's the question for you. So you can actually pause the video answer the question and then look into my suggestions. Now let us assume that uh, we have somewhere here origin. Let's say this is the origin for us. In that case, the vectors we are considering as the position vector OB, that's the position vector, and we have position vector OP, and we also have the position vector OA, right? So these are the position vectors which we are going to consider. Now, let us say that uh, uh, we'll derive the formula first. I could use the formula and uh, find the answer immediately, no problems. Uh, but what I will do here is that we'll kind of uh, derive the formula, right? So what we can do is, <coughs> uh, let us say, let's take the formula in general. That is to say that if we have B A, we could denote B A as, uh, let's say in general, we'll say B A is some unit vector V, right? Let's say V is the unit vector in the direction of B A. I'm first trying to give you a proof, okay? In that case, we'll say uh, unit vector along B A, we can denote by this, that is the unit vector along B A let us say. In that case what we have is that B P could be written as two times this unit vector correct and P A will be equals to five times this unit vector correct. So that is how this unit vector will be. Now now, if I multiply the first equation by 5 and the second by 2, what happens? See, from here, if I times the first equation by 5, let me write in a different thing, 5 times, I get 5 times BP is equals to 5 times 2 is 10 V, right? And the second one, I get 2 times, if I multiply this one by 2, times PA, we get 10 V, right? So that indicates that these two parameters are equal, right? So from here, we can clearly write that 5 times BP is equals to 2 times PA, right? So you see how this unit vector helped us to form an equation. It's very critical. <clears throat> okay. Now, what is BP? B to P, we're talking about this now, BP, is OP minus OB, right? So I can replace BP by 5 times OP minus OB. So we have related this in terms of position vectors. Do you see that beauty? Right. PA, so P to A is OA minus OP, right? So two times OA 
minus op. Do you get it? So what we did was, first we proved that 5 bp is 2 pa, and then we wrote bp, b to p, as op minus ob, and p to a as oa minus op, correct? So we got position vectors now, okay? What do we need to find? We need to find coordinates of p, right? That is what we need to find. So from here we can isolate p. So let me open the brackets. 5 times op minus 5 times ob equals to 2 times oa minus 2 times op. Bringing it to the right side, 5 times op plus 2 times op is equals to 2 times OA plus 5 times OB, right? Now that is 7 OP, right? 7 times OP equals to 2 times OA plus 5 times OB. Perfect. Now what is OP? So the position vector OP is dividing both by 7. So we get 2 over 7 times OA plus 5 over 7 times OB, right? So that is how we get this particular relation. So position vector P now can be found easily. Well, in our case, we have taken the ratio 2 is to 5. But in general, if we have a ratio of M is to N, in general, in that case, this formula, see, OA, when I'm multiplying with, I'm multiplying by 2, right? So, so in that case, if I do, instead of uh, 2 o is to 5, if I do M is to N, then general formula will be OP for the given diagram. If I make this as M is to N, okay? Then, you know, this is M, right? So, M over 7 is combination of these two, right? So, N plus M times OA plus N over N plus M times OB. So that becomes a general formula which can always be applied for such situations, right? So, so <clears throat> whenever we are dividing a line segment in a ratio, we could apply this formula. Okay. Now, let us apply the formula and get the result. So OP is equals to 2 over 7. And what is OA? O is 3 minus 1, 1. So we can write this as 3 minus 1, 1 plus 5 over 7. And OB is 0, 2, minus 1. Correct? Now you can multiply all these numbers. So we get 2 times 3 is 6 over 7 minus 2 over 7. Then again, we have 2 over 7, so that is plus, that is 0, and this is 10 over 7 minus 5 over 7, correct? Now, we can combine them, so 6 plus 0 is 6, 6 over 7, minus 2 plus 10 gives us 8 over 7, and 2 minus 5 gives us minus 3, over 7. So that becomes the position vector OP. So now we know the position vector. We need to write coordinates. Important, right? So so the coordinates P will be 6 over 7, 8 over 7, minus 3 over 7, right? So that is how you get your answer. I hope the steps are clear and you could do any question related with division of line. I'll provide you a link with external division also. This is, we call it internal. So P is in between B and A, right? So internally, it divides into the ratio of M is to N. Now in your test, you could get P dividing externally. Well, the formula remains the same. You could always use this formula to get the result. I'm Anil Kumar, and I hope that really helps. You can always share and subscribe to my videos. Thank you. And... All the best.